Hi kiddos. Welcome to Wednesday. Now today is technically speaking the last day of our unit, which is great. You guys have made it to the end of Asia in the Middle Ages. Now we're going to be talking about our fifth and final dynasty today called the Ming Dynasty. Quick recap. We got the Sui, the Tang, the Song, the Yuan that you guys looked at yesterday, also known as the Mongols. Now today we're going into the Ming Dynasty, the last dynasty that we're going to be studying. So first things first, the Ming came to power almost immediately after Kublai Khan, the grandson of the founder of the Yuan. His name was Genghis Khan. Uh, he dies, so Mongol power in China declines. So the Ming take over. They create a new military government. Now, the Ming Dynasty did a lot of great things for China. They reintroduced the civil service exams, those tests that they had to take in order to become a government official. They created a census so they could actually count the amount of people in the country. And possibly most importantly, they made the switch from silk to cotton. They encouraged their farmers to begin growing, to begin growing cotton. Now, in addition to all this, they created a giant fleet. Now, a fleet is a bunch of ships. So the Ming emperors built a bunch of ships because they wanted to explore different places. They wanted to make trade go up. They wanted to essentially get as much control of as much of the world as possible. Now, their main admiral, the leader of their uh, fleet, was this guy named Zheng He, which I know looks like Zhang He, but it's pronounced Zheng He. Um, and today what you guys are going to be looking at is... Was the Ming Dynasty inward or outward looking? Did they care about what was happening in China or did they care more about what was going on in the rest of the world? So just like yesterday, make sure you guys read through the documents. It's possibly even easier than it was yesterday. Um, don't worry about watching the video unless you want to, which is document number two, everything else. Just go through, read and answer those five questions. All you guys are responsible for is the Google Forms. All right, kiddos, keep up the good work. See you soon.